G'day everybody, Wong here. Today's video is going to be about the update to the Honey Badger because this gun used to be exactly like the old AS Val, though the AS Val and this gun used to be the exact same pretty much. They, the Honey Badger just had a slightly bigger mag but slightly slower reload, whereas now the Honey Badger's actually received quite a substantial update and the gun feels completely different. It went from a high damage, high recoil, sort of close range gun to now actually a mid damage, mid recoil, but good peripheries kind of mid range gun, which is interesting. It's it's, it almost feels more like an SMG now, but with a bit more range somehow. It's hard to explain. It, it honestly, um, just like the AS Val, kind of fits more like a carbine roll from like BF4. Yeah, no, anyways, first we're going to take a look at the changes and exactly what has been done to the gun. Then I'm going to have a, a few builds for you guys to try, a couple builds that I think you guys will enjoy. And then I'm going to just more talk generally about the gun's playstyle and then do a live commentary. Hope you enjoy. Alrighty, let's have a look at the changes to the Honey Badger. Just so you know, I'm going to read them all out and then I'm going to show demonstrations of what the changes actually mean. So bear with me for a sec whilst I read them out. So the Honey Badger got its damage lowered from 32 to 28, which is a nerf, of course. The vertical recoil got lowered though by 0.25, which is really, really good, from 1.5 to 1.25. The horizontal recoil also got lowered by a lot from 1.9 to 1.1. See, unlike the, unlike the AS Val, this is a recoil like buff on both ends, not just horizontal. So this is actually pretty big for this gun's range. The velocity got lowered from 440 to 400. Bit of an unnecessary change in my opinion because um, it, it already felt pretty low to be honest, but it is what it is. Um, accuracy increased. Um, once again, the accuracy changes in this game are pretty negligible, especially considering it's only by four. Um, so it's actually quite negligible and doesn't really matter. Fire rate increase. Now this is the big part. This is the part that makes the time to kill a little bit faster against certain armors. So I'll be going more in depth in that in a moment, but for now the fire rate has been increased, which is super awesome. The sound spread got lowered just like the AS Val, which makes it just, uh, makes you more sustainable because when you kill people, other people won't instantly know where you are. So yeah, that's really, really good. Magazine reload time got lowered from 4.17 to 3.79. This is actually pretty big. I noticed this in game actually quite a lot. It actually led to me making one of the builds a more of a reload speed build, kind of like the AS Val. But um, yes, the reload speed actually was quite nice. And the base magazine got increased by one bullet, which is pretty random. The damage fall off starting distance increased from 20 meters to 40 meters. Now, this is actually a lot bigger than it is on the AS Val, purely because with the damage number actually being lowered, it's good that the range got increased, meaning that you won't be dipping by a bullet to kill. As soon as you hit 20 meters, it'll actually be now at 40, which is so awesome. So anyways, let's take a deeper look at these damage numbers. So the damage got decreased from 32 to 28. Now I'll put a visual up now that shows the old and new bullets to kill against certain armors. And honestly, it only starts becoming a problem past light armor. And honestly, at that point, when you're versing, especially heavy in EXO, you're already sort of like, you're already kind of feeling like you're going to take a long time to kill. So I honestly am not too stressed about heavy being up by a bullet to kill. Normally, being up by a bullet to kill is the biggest downside to this but honestly in my gameplay I found myself not really worrying about it too much and the fire rate increase and the range increase from the damage drop off and the range gain from the recoil changes made me feel like I, I didn't really notice that it got worse I actually felt like it got better it still feels really really good and still feels better than it used to due to the range increases from recoil and damage drop off so I wouldn't worry too much about the bullets to kill so as a result of the damage changes and the fire rate changes, the time to kill of the honey badger actually got increased by about 25 milliseconds. I'll put the numbers up right here. So all in all, these are the time to kill changes. It got a little bit faster by about 25 milliseconds roughly, or maybe 20 milliseconds, sorry. And um, honestly, yeah, that, that's pretty good. My opinion though, is that the damage changes aren't the biggest thing with this gun. For me, I found the reload speed and the range increases from recoil and damage drop off ended up being the biggest things for me. And you'll see that in the builds, um, one of them I lean into the reload quite heavily and one of them I lean into the recoil quite heavily. So anyways, I'm gonna now offer you guys a couple of builds that I think you guys will enjoy. Alrighty, so this first build is if you used to use the Honey Badger 
and you felt like, oh man, this gun's range is terrible and you would like really not like it and you wouldn't pick it on any map, I would now use this kit. This kit is no mag just to not affect the recoil at all and then actually a vertical grip and not a horizontal grip. And the reason being that now the vertical recoil is so low, adding this vertical grip on top just pretty much eliminates it almost completely. And another thing is with its fire rate being bumped up, I generally find that the higher the fire rate, the more I actually do end up caring about vertical. So I would recommend the vertical grip. Um, this gun is so awesome now. It, it honestly just has way more range than it used to. I still don't think it's like a meta gun, but I think that it's definitely like, you can now pick this gun on so many more maps. You used to only better be able to pick it on like Frugus or Salhan um, and things like that, where you can get like really easy close range kills. But now it's actually good on a lot of maps because of this range. With this build, you're still gonna run into the problem of enemies that are half secluded behind cover are gonna be really, really hard to kill. But enemies who are running through the open at range are no longer not killable. Now you can punish people for making bad decisions with this gun, which is um, definitely a bonus. Now, for those of you who could shred even before with the Honey Badger and you really, really like the gun, I highly recommend, and this is gonna seem kind of silly and a bit of a cop out, but actually straight up just like the AS Val, running all the reload attachments. Get that quick mag, get that Urk grip and play Assault. This gun is so fantastic with this build. It reloads incredibly fast. When you do the quick reload that the double tap R, I don't know if this is true, but I, it feels like one of the fastest guns in the game, but like in terms of reload speed, it feels really, really, really fast. I used this a little bit on Frugus and Salhan, and now it feels like the old Honey Badger, but still a little bit better and it reloads faster. So it's just fantastic. It's honestly just the same as the AS Val, good build, but I tried it and it was just really, really fun. I still actually, this time I would recommend using the vertical grip build a lot more than this one, just because this one lowers the gun's mag size and the vertical grip one does not, but um, if you're looking for a gun that'll feel similar to the old one, but just will perform better, this is the pick. Whereas the vertical grip is now a gun that is so much more versatile and performs on average a lot better. So yeah, these are the two builds I would recommend um, with a heavy emphasis on the first one, but this second one is really, really good on Frugus and Salhan. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the builds. Hey everybody, just before the live commentary starts, I just want to say I'm sorry, I haven't been able to get very many good matches. This is an alright one, but it's been a bit buggy. And same with the AS Val one, I'm really, really sorry about it. It's just that um, right now with the new update, the servers are kind of like uh, crap in the bed a bit. And so it's been uh, pretty hard to just get a match that doesn't have some form of bug in it that just makes it really hard to watch. But this is the cleanest one I could get, and my game crashed three times. So, uh, you know, if that's the best I can get, you guys can imagine how bad the other one were but i still think that this has some valuable stuff in it and it's me rocking the honey badger so i hope you enjoy all right this is going to be my live commentary and i'm going to be using the honey badger now the build i'm going to run is i'm actually going to play medic because i want a lot of sustainability and i kept running out of bandages and i find that this gun actually has a lot more range than it used to so playing in a way that is like playing for sustainability is actually a good play so i'm gonna go medic and i'm actually gonna run the ranger vest because i want to be able to heal infinitely without having to get bandages and i also want to have as many mags as i'll ever need and so i'll go ranger i might switch to normal if i'm dying before running out of any mags like all the mags but i think i should be all right I'm not going to run really, really slow sadly uh, i'm not going to run really, really fast sadly but it should be fine because my gun It's range is way, way better. It's effective range. So that means that that was just silly. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me really quickly turn off the chat because I look at the chat a bunch. Also, really, really just want to say sorry about the AS Val video. I recorded a commentary and every time I went over any of the footage in my editor past the point that I cut it at, it would literally just crash the editor. So I had to cut it short it only stopped like kind of near the end so i just ended up cutting to the end anyways so i'm really sorry the as Val one was short well let's have a look so i do not feel like going on the bridge just purely because i think that the gameplay is a little repetitive on there sometimes and i'm not exactly looking to just spam kpm i'm looking to have some fun so i'm gonna avoid the bridge and go over here on f i think if i showed you a match on the bridge it would be like, it would only be applicable to this map, so I'll try to stay away from the bridge. I'm actually not going to go up and cap F, I'm going to go try and kill this sniper and then flank D. And I hope that that will work. The reason I'm flanking D is because I can see the enemies here on this bridge fighting, so... 
that means that the enemies will be in between D and the bridge. Or will be on the bridge on the side of D. Alright, there's a lot of people here. I'm going to back up so I can isolate a 1v1 with this guy. Dang, that's a shame. I really could have killed that guy. I just played bad. That was good from him, though, to take the initiative there and get the kill. Oh, I'll spawn here and run off the bridge. Oh, no! That's such a shame. I think I could have predicted that, honestly. I think I could have, like, looked at that and predicted I'm going to switch squad just so I can um, get someone else. I don't think that guy's dropping people off. I think he's just shooting, so I'm going to switch. Hmm, I'm going to keep switching squads to we find one that's in a spot that I can spawn in. I want to spawn near F. There we go. Um, I'll heal this guy because he was kind enough to give me a spawn. All right, let's head into F. I'm going to go um, try to kill this guy. There he is. I led my shots a little bit there, but um, as you have to now because it shoots slow, I'm pretty sure as well. Or... Ah, I don't know what that means. If I knew what that meant, I would have something to say, but I literally have no idea. Right, I saw a guy down here in the valley. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna ignore them now. Right now I'm playing a not very good reload speed build, just because this map's ranges vary a bit more, and I don't... If I was playing Frugus or Salhan, I would have equipped something different. That was a really good shot from that guy. Um, if I was playing uh, Frugus or Salhan, I would equip a uh, URK grip, or maybe the Quick Bang, probably the URK grip. And, man, this is so frustrating. I don't like how many players only go on the bridge. But it is what it is. People want something, and they want... Look, people want the bridge, they're gonna go there, so that's... You know, it is what it is. I don't blame the people for doing what they want. I'm just sad that no one wanted to do what I wanted to do. But, we're chilling. Alright, I actually do want a cat B. So I'm gonna cut across here. Oh, that was silly. I'm gonna cut across this bumpy bit and try to get back onto the road that goes to B. Because it just got captured by the enemy. I think that if there's any players coming towards A... I'm gonna make an assumption that they're gonna be not very good compared to the people who would go towards C. Because the people who would go towards C... Um, know that that's the best way to farm kills and they're generally the players with really high KPM and they're generally the players that are really hard to verse so I'm gonna uh, not stress too hard about enemies coming my way I'm gonna res this guy because why not I just hope there's not a sniper or something there you are my friend I got you he's AFK but I'll just do it anyways because if he comes back oh man I just accidentally aimed in front of that guy instead of where he was right now I'm running a group that helps with horizontal recoil um, but honestly this gun's fire rate is actually pretty quick now. It's actually getting to the point where I might instead switch to vertical attachments, like vertical recoil attachments. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that guy's alive. See, right there, that guy didn't hear what I did because when I jumped out of here or jumped off of the container, I slowed down really quick and stopped sprinting so he wouldn't be able to hear where I was walking. And that's why he didn't know where I was. That's tough. Man, my aim is a little bit off as well. I don't know if you guys have noticed um, just in these clips, but um, yeah, my aim is a little bit off right now. I just came back from dinner. I went out to a Mexican restaurant um, and I'm super full. So now I feel really like tired and my aim is all bad. This gun actually reloads pretty quick when you do a fast reload. So I'm not too stressed about the reload speed. Still though, on a close range map, bringing the Urk grip and things will make it like incredibly fast so yeah I would on those maps but on a bigger map I'm going with the horizontal recoil reduction oh for no light I'll heal him and let him go for the kill this guy's a ledge he's doing a thing where he's doing an entire prestige just to support right now I got you bro but, um, yeah, I'm gonna drop him a health pack and run away, just in case he needs it again. I'm gonna really quickly dive into this building with the homie, so it's safe whilst we cap. Okay, so we've got C and D, so obviously I'm gonna go for F. Um, my ammo is actually getting pretty low, which is interesting. Um, I'm gonna call in an ammo pack. I'm gonna pick this back up, because no light didn't pick it up. Um, didn't use it, because he didn't need it. So, I'm gonna drop some ammo, just in case... Um, I don't think two mags is a whole lot with this gun because it shoots so quick. The mags actually empty really oh, mate, fast. On our point. On and the, the um, side, on the other building. And the sorry, that guy was talking. And also another thing is because the fire rate's big and well, the magazine is the small. There, it, there uh, you go. There you go. <laughs> I love that. I love the random chat in this game. I think he should have used um, 
local chat there, but it is what it is. Oh my god, that's an enemy. <laughs> I saw the big red car, but I still thought it was a teammate for some reason. I'm so silly. Dang. I can't believe that just happened. Let me... I want to switch that. I think that looks cool. That kind of set the COD Ghosts uh, Honey Badger. If anyone here played COD Ghosts, uh, I was actually... Um, I've heard that was like one of the worst CODs, but also kind of little that I just sort of didn't know why it would be bad. There was a few things I really liked in that game, like, um, I remember, if I remember correctly, I think that was the first COD where when you aim with like a sniper or a longer range scope, the outside of the scope will go blurry instead of just being like a black ring. But, um, yeah, anyways, let's head back to B. Um, I really do not like this gun's range, so, oh, I mean, not this gun's range. I don't like this gun's recoil, so I don't want to fight enemies that are half behind cover, but... So I don't want to run up here, but I am anyways. Oh no, we're chilling. That guy is not doing the thing I was about to say. But if there was someone with skylining on this hill, it'd be really hard to hit them with the amount of recoil on this. Or, not even the recoil, it's more the fire rate, to be honest. High fire rate, I generally find harder to hit, like, enemies that are half behind cover. I think. I wanted to spot the objective, but I'm not squad leader. I'm going to sneak into the big building, because that's the highest chance of enemies. Okay, there's no one on this objective, because I can cap it as a single person. I'm gonna go on the roof. I don't know if the roof is the best place for this kind of gun, but we'll see. There's a guy under me. Oh no, I'm so silly. I honestly thought I killed that person, so I kind of like stopped shooting. Man, I'm not gonna lie, that is so silly of me. That That's like a big mistake. That is my bad. I've been making a lot of kind of rookie mistakes uh, tonight. To be honest, but it's all good. I think I've been playing a little too fast for my own good, just purely because um, I think that these guns having buffs, like, they just feel really good. And um, I am getting overconfident because then my gun feels like stronger than normal. The reason I'm choosing to stick close to that tree is purely because um, if an enemy comes from any angle, I can face hug the tree to get behind it. Oh no, I sh honestly, after I missed a few shots with the Glock there, I should have just assumed that I wouldn't be able to get the kill with it, and I should have switched back to my gun and reloaded, but, um, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, so, you know, it is what it is. Alrighty. I want to head back to that similar sort of area with my truck, but it's hard because that, um, that tank is holding the position I would drive if he wasn't there, so. Enemy up in a car here, so I'm gonna... Kill him now. Oh, it's a teammate in a car, my bad. I will res him as soon as this guy is dead on the rock here. He's dead. And he respawned. That's my bad. I probably should have gone for it a bit earlier, but I was scared of the rock guy killing me. I should have called out to him, I reckon. I don't want to cross the bridge here, but I don't have a ropes equipped, so I have no other way to get up really. So I'm not going to go around for a wide flank. I'm actually going to send it and just go for it. Okay, I got lucky. That's good. Send it into here. I want to get to a cover like this where I can rotate around it left and right. Okay. Someone's sniping. Whoa, I think I'm dead here. I need to get behind these boxes as soon as I can. I'm going to put the boxes behind me in between me and the enemy so I can run further without them shooting me. That guy thought I was tagged, but I healed whilst I was running. Good tip there, um, always heal whilst you're running if you can as a medic. Um, even as the other classes too, but as the other classes of course it takes longer. Alright, this guy was around the Hesco. I'm just going to make sure he doesn't come around the side here. That's tough, yeah. Honestly, I saw a sniper around ping past me, but I just wanted to really get a kill there. Um, I shouldn't have done that, I made the wrong choice. Let's spawn in here. Having a bit of trouble with my ranged kills here, honestly. I feel like the horizontal still feels really high. I might um, switch to a vertical recoil attachment and see what we do. Because the horizontal feels high, but I've got the max stuff to like help it. So if I'm doing all I can to reduce the horizontal and still not working, it doesn't feel good enough. That's how I know I shouldn't try to get better. If it was vertical, it would be different because vertical recoil you can improve on. But um, horizontal is pretty random, like it's kind of hard to, you yourself, improve horizontal recoil. So yeah, I'm not doing good here, too much horizontal. I might just instead fully send it on vertical instead and see how we do. 
It definitely does feel nice and easy. I think that this will be the play. So what the point of this attachment is, is pretty much I switched to vertical because not because I want to extend my range out, but instead because I want... Oh no, my game. It's just kicked me. Easy anti-cheat keeps kick kicking people. That's a huge shame though. I'm going to have to join back with wipe stats. I do not remember how many kills I had. I think it was around like 26 or 27. So I'm just going to assume 26 and um, we'll just add it to my kills at the end. I don't think I'm gonna, this is going to be a very high kill game to be honest because um, everybody's on the bridge, of course, just like Rakistan normally is. But um, let's have a look. Uh, I think I'm on the enemy team now. Well, there you go. I do not remember anything, so I don't really have any insider knowledge for my team. Like, I don't really remember where players positioning players were positioning, so it doesn't really matter that I'm on the enemy team. Um, okay, so let me explain. This vertical recoil attachment I've done, now granted, it will lower my peak range I can shoot at, but it'll make the ranges that aren't my peak, like the top ranges, so like my medium sort of range for this gun, um, or average engagement distance, a lot easier. So horizontal definitely would help more if I was... Um, you know what, I'm going to go Assault instead, just to get a bit of reload speed. So, pretty much, my total range will be worse, but everything within that range will be easier. So, that's why I'm going to switch to Vertical, because I've been stuffing up kills that are within the range that I should be killing people at. Um, I'm going to do this. Alrighty, let me do this. Damn, that's a really nice shot. I don't know where this player went, but there was a player here. I'm running light armor right now. I'm definitely going to switch off to normal or ranger because I often find with the honey badger that I run out of ammo because it's fire rate. But we will see. Fire rate plus small mags, to be honest. I'm going to let that guy get res because I think I'll be able to take them both on once they're res. I'm going to ignore the sniper behind me. Alrighty, interesting. I'm jumping up and down a bit here just because there were snipers and I just don't want to get headshot whilst I'm on the run. Um, I'm going to drop an ammo pack. I already have. Yeah, I was from the last round. I could tell there was a pistol due to like game knowledge, I just could hear that this guy was using a pistol. So I decided to run out into the open and go for him because his, his gun is less good. I do not actually recommend that a whole bunch because um, some people can be pretty cracked with the pistols. So it's like actually a bit of a gamble there that I ran into the open, but it is what it is. Oh, what the hell? I just got into that car. That's like a strat or something. I actually got in that car. I didn't even mean to. I was just trying to load ammo into my gun from the thing. That's hilarious from the ammo pack. No. Just want here run to be. Tell you what, you know, let's give the Urk Grip a go, even though it's a long range map, and we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure in the process of making this video too, um, the Honey Badger has become my most used gun, I'm pretty sure. Just, it, uh, dethroned the Org not too long ago. So, that's interesting. Honey Badger is my most used weapon, feels kind of weird, because... Before this patch, I did not like the gun at all. Uh, it was fun to use. It was definitely a cool gun. It was fun and everything, but it was like really hard. Like it had um, like way too much horizontal recoil. I gotta reload. But it is what it is. Now with the air grip, it reloads super fast, so I just do that instead of switching my pistol. Do that, chuck my laser on for a bit of easier time hip firing there. Okay, these fights have been going pretty good. This round I've been abusing Pika's advantage pretty heavily, which is surprising considering I'm playing Wucky. 
which um, I find generally happens a lot less in the longer range angles. Oh, yeah, honestly, could have seen that one coming because that's very common occurrence. On this, so I got 20 kills. That means I'd be about 56 kills, which would would have put me at the top of this match so far in terms of kills. Alrighty, that was pretty crazy that I didn't die there. That was honestly a bad play for me. I just um, tunnel vision that guy that I knew was up there. Okay, I'm going to play a little bit slower because I've been playing very recklessly and I think that um, winning via rolling the dice is cool and it feels cool when you first start doing it so I get crazy kills like that. But eventually you just sort of feel like you're not doing good. You feel like you're not a good player when you do it because it's like a lot of your wins aren't coming from conscious decisions. They're coming from randomness and of course winning because of randomness is not as satisfying as winning because you played good. Alrighty. Uh, look, I said I was going to avoid the bridge, but right now getting to a place where there's enemies is going to take a long time, so I'll try the bridge. See that guy's feet right there? I'm going to throw this just to damage him and scare him a little bit. But, um, I don't think I'll be able to finish him off unless he stands up, which he doesn't. Which is fair, I didn't expect him to, and that's why I said he wouldn't. But it is what it is. I was expecting Pika's advantage so I aimed a little bit far from the wall because I thought he would, um, round the corner pretty quickly. And I happen to be right that he wide swung a little too much. Oh my gosh, it happened again. Man, this is going to be a weird video. Holy moly. I got you. I oh, was this guy last game, I'm pretty sure. Maybe this match, but earlier. No, no, it was... It was uh, what team am I on now? Back on the team I was on originally. This is going to be so weird. I wonder if there's anyone I've killed who's been like, what? Like, he's with me now? Okay, this is a crazy situation. There's angles everywhere. So I want to reduce them by building. Okay, now I don't have to worry about that at all. I can just chill and use these logs to swing over the top here. There's a guy, I saw a guy just over the two sets of logs here. I'm gonna fast reload because I reload really, really quick. Back on the old Ranger vest as well. The logs got broken. I have no bandages, so I may as well just go for a kill hit. Oh, oh I know that, I don't know if it'll show up on here. I just accidentally freaking, when I flicked down and right, my mouse went off of my mouse pad, so I couldn't aim far enough. That's a shame. I don't think I would have killed him anyways, to be honest, that was a super hairy situation. I think I would have just died anyways, but um, still it's cool to think, you know, what if. Alrighty, this is a C4 moment right here. And that guy should have walked away. Honestly, unless that's a different guy, then I'm being rude, I guess. Oh my god, the barbed wire. Okay, this is tough. Alright, you know what? I want to be on F so bad. See what this old mate's doing? Ah, C4. I'll, uh, I'll hop out when we see a tank. I think he's going to drive it into a tank and then blow it up. Uh, we're going to D. Hell yeah. Going to D. It's a long way to D. As you wanted to take the road. Fair enough, brother. Took the wrong road. That's a shame. Oh no, it'd be faster if he just weaves through. So this guy is trying to blow up a tank, I'm pretty sure. Why would he drive like this? This is crazy. I think this is a fake car. <laughs> like, I don't know. Dude, this this match for you guys? I'm sorry, there's going to be two in a row where it's just like kind of random. Like, one, first one my footage got corrupted. This one has been corrupted, but not because of like the recording software breaking. This is corrupted just due to like weird gameplay and like random getting kicked and stuff. That's so weird. Alrighty. I want to be at D. Running through this valley is going to suck with a gun with really high fire rate because I'm going to have to verse areas with a lot of cover. And if they're half secluded by cover, this gun's not really good. Generally, that's a rule for high fire rate guns, um, depending on the recoil, really. But I don't want to be versing people who are half secluded by cover. So instead, I'm going to go through this tunnel that my team has and use this pathway instead of the pathway with a bunch of rocks and things. It will take longer, but it will be less risky. Oh my gosh! I can't believe this! This is insane. Look, honestly, I think I'm gonna have to cut the video there, but um, 